Dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. This is Power Grind Boxing, where we're dedicated to this great sport of boxing. I need you to subscribe right now for another jab of boxing news from around the world, commentary and entertainment with a focus of honoring those of the past and the present who have made a positive contribution to this beautiful sport of boxing. This is Quick Jab Vertical Avalanche Edition, and we're talking about David Morrell putting on a dominant performance at the undercard of the Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia fight. Oh my goodness. He knocked out Yamaguchi Falcoa in the first round. Now, the Cuban's right hand was the key to this victory. He sent Falcoa stumbling early on in the first round before knocking him into the ropes. And you know, according to the rules, if the ropes hold you up, then guess what? That's a knockdown, you got me? Now, Alcoa, he managed to beat the count, but David Morrell was not done, and he landed another brutal right hand to the chin of Falcoa, and Falcoa fell face first into the canvas, and that resulted in a knockout. Now, with this victory, David Morrell successfully defended his WBA secondary super middleweight title for the fourth time, and that pushes his professional record to nine victories, no losses, and he got eight of those wins by way of knockout. Now, in a previous fight, David Morrell also won by a knockout victory, but it came at the cost at um, his other opponent being expeditiously rushed to the hospital. And then he went to the hospital. I think the guy's name is Ados Rabernoli or something like that. But they had to rush this guy to the hospital. And then they had to put him in a medically induced coma because he had a subdural hematoma. Man, that's crazy. David Morrell keeps showing individuals over and over why he is the truth at 168 pounds. Now, David Morrell, right now, he has his sights set on a fight with a top super middleweight contender by the name of David Benavidez. Now, although he does respect uh, Benavidez power and Benavidez team and he said that at the post fight you got what I'm saying but he basically said right after he won is hey um he wants David Benavidez next he 100% he's like he don't want any other guys at 168 pounds he just want David Benavidez now he, like I said he said he respect David Benavidez Benavidez and his team, but inside the ring, I don't respect nothing. This is what he said right after he had knocked out Falcoa. You got what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my God. Now, with that impressive performance on this big of a stage, because he was the co-main event, David Morrell has made a strong statement to the boxing world he showcased his power and he he showcased his potential to the world and i think that he is proven to be a force that's going to be reckoned with in the super middleweight division and i'm looking forward to him fighting whoever but i hope that he fights the best in the division and he wants to fight the best in the division but he wants to start with David Benavidez. Oh my God. Now, let me know in the comment section if you are feeling David Morrell fighting David Benavidez. Or do you think it's too soon? Because you know, he only has nine victories right now. So he's he's new into the boxing world, you know, but I'm just saying, man. Look, man, just, that boy was looking good. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I think that David Morrell, I think he made a huge statement on this undercard. 
I really think that, you know, when I saw Falcoa get sent to the canvas, I was like, listen, this guy is not going to get up. And then when he got up, he was still wibbly wobbly. You know, he had the, the noodle legs. I knew that it was going to be over and I thought he was going to finish it. And listen, David Morrell, when I tell you he's a finisher, he rushed in there quickly. It's like he was an eagle. He saw prey and he swooped in on his prey and he ate that boy face. You understand with that boxing glove, though? You got what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh, my God. But listen, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about David Morrell's performance? I want you to join my community, our boxing community. Let's build this thing stronger. Do you understand what I'm saying? And let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you punch the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and stay up to date with all the videos because we trying to drop, baby. And guess what? We are on the grind. Peace.